Skater Cali is a very fun little game for like seven bucks. It is basically Tony Hawk Pro Skater the platformer, really is what it is. Kind of like Line Rider or uh, Skater Die, the original Skater Die for NES. Uh, it's a very, very simple game, very responsive, great controls. There is one issue I have with the controls that some of you guys may or may not have yourself. I'll explain it, but I think I may have resolved it by swapping controllers. But some of you guys may not have the luxury of having a whole bunch of old ass Xbox 360 controllers you can just rotate through. Now, uh, the, the the way the game flows is you basically have a level that's set out before you and you just skate it. And then you get you accomplish certain things, points, tricks, uh, going certain routes or whatever, and you get unlocks like stars or whatever. You get like three stars per level, basically a little mini achievement or a little mini quests that you have to accomplish. And that'll allow you to just basically rack up stars pretty much so the game is a soup is very simple there's not a lot of depth here uh the, really the only issue i have with it is just the uh, uh is the way that it handles specials your special moves and you'll see those in just a minute after i move that mouse right out of the way there we go ruining my intro all right so i've already cleared through zone one and uh i'm starting on zone two i believe there's actually quite a few more zones after this uh, let me see. Will actually show me the other zone? Let's see. No, it does not. Just get a zone two, zone two. Okay, well, sure. Sure, fine. Uh, you can see at the very top, total career goals, 14 out of 351. That's on this zone. On this zone, I believe I'm actually at, uh, there we go, 11 out of 15. So that means I just basically am missing a couple points here and there. I'm going to go ahead and do zone one here, just so you guys can see how the game, um, this is how the game plays. You can see I completed the first and the second one. It was probably like, do a trick off of something or, or go this certain path or whatever. And the last one is score 50,000 points. Now, Basically, you have the ability to jump like this, right? Then you can jump left trigger to, to manual. You could Y to grind, and you could basically kick flip, and you could grab. You could do all kinds of stuff. And where you where you push the left joystick while you're hitting these buttons determines which trick you're gonna do. Now, up left corner, you could see that I have the uh, the special ready. The problem with the special is. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. I broke a bunch of bones. It doesn't really mean anything. It's fine. Uh, so the problem with the special that I have is if you have an older controller that maybe does not really adhere to the dead zone very well and sometimes drifts just a little bit, uh, and I mean just a tiny little bit, uh, the game will pick that up as you actually activating the special and right in the middle of a jump, you know, just, just by touching the controller, you can wiggle that stick just enough to actually trigger uh, a special when you're not really anticipating uh, <laughs> activating a special. We are like, maybe I didn't want to do a special right there. And then your character will crash and you'll break a bunch of bones and all that. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna get through this so you guys can see just basically how this, this level functions. We're not gonna get the, uh, unfortunately we're not gonna get the 50,000 points, but I want to show you guys more levels more than anything. So we're gonna go ahead and go to, this is the next level here. Let's go ahead and actually back out. We'll go to zone two. I want to play something I haven't played yet. I gotta do any of these things. Let's go to this one. No, I cannot. Oh, I wonder if I... Hmm. Is it gonna make me... Is it all complete? That's really strange. Hold on. Level select. I should be able to go to zone... Oh, interest... Weird. I have everything completed there. Well, that's a... That's a well, there's a game-breaking bug right there. <laughs> let me, uh... Let me actually complete this level to see if this has something to do with it. Oh, dang. I could've... Could've totally hit that. There you go, chain all these things together. You can only do one manual per combo, FYI, so... Can't necessarily just sit there and just chain together literally the entire map. You can only get one. Do I get one here? Oh, the red! Oh, The red basically trips you up. Broken Bones 22. Hey, look at that, I got achievement! What's up? <laughs> What's going on? Did you get achievement for? <laughs> just shows how much work you put into it. Blood, sweat, and tears, and broken bones! Ah, I didn't hit the Y button. So you're basically just chaining together a whole bunch of tricks, and that's pretty much how you get points. You're basically trying to squeeze them in everywhere you can. You get as many as you can possibly, as many points as you can per combo. This is this is obviously very much like a Tony Hawk Pro Skater. This is the way all of these games should function. Ah, dang it, forgot. Forgot all about that. Uh, although while I'm up there, I should probably activate my special. Surprise isn't activated by itself, actually, right before I start recording, I switch controllers. Uh, the third controller now. I have two controllers that, uh, unfortunately, a little they wiggle a little bit in the uh, the dead zone, so they trigger the special. I sent a tweet to the uh, developer, but he has not responded to me yet. It's kind of the first day, so he's probably dealing with more more pressing issues. Oh crap! Ugh. Need to wait till the very end of that to jump. Hold on, let me let me get this thing. This stupid thing. 
requires concentration. Ah! I could just ride the damn thing and stop being a jerk. But I want the points. And there we go. Oh, my chain is holding together! Oh, shit. I just gotta, if I can land this, it's be also I'm gonna ride this all on. Ooh. Oh, that little look at the camera, that was excellent. I just wanna finish this map now. There's a special. Ah, oh! 220,000. Let me go ahead and hit next. There we go. Now we have access to the next map. That was really weird. I wonder why it did that. Clear the stair cap. This music, though. We should talk about the music for a second. This sounds like MIDI karaoke, pretty much. <laughs> this song in particular. The other songs just kind of sound like, oh, okay, yeah, this is a regular track, whatever. That's a huge jump. Wow. Um, huh. Take a speed off this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that trick at the end. Um, but yeah, this song sounds like an 80s, an 80s cover, MIDI cover. Uh, oh, one thing I haven't talked about is actually how you push yourself off. So you can, if you want to, control your own flow of... Uh, your own speed by right trigger, using right trigger to actually push yourself off. But I have it on auto, so basically it's pushing off for me. Which is fine, because I'd rather just focus on doing the tricks. There's already enough stuff going on, to be honest. There we go, 80,000. Oh, okay, 71,000, we'll do that. I don't have stars here. 75, oh, so close. It's fine. City streets. Find the upper path, do a special trick to score 150,000 points. All right, well, if I do a special trick, that should definitely give me 150,000 points. Here's the upper path. Oh, the red. Now, you do end up kind of just spamming buttons, but there is a rhythm to it. There is absolutely a rhythm to how you hit the buttons in order to make these things actually land. You're kind of like brushing your finger, your thumb, up the A to X route, and then swinging around to Y if you need to land something like that. So you're kind of just whoop, cycling through them. Oh, bitch. Oh, landed. Now I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm gonna mess this up. Don't mess this up. Oh, 96,000. Oh, not quite for 100. Enough for 150,000. But that was a lot of points on one trick. Uh, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So as you can see, it's it's pretty much a reach max speed is one of them. That's pretty funny. Yeah, the game's gonna do that by itself, really. Oh, by the way, in order to reach max speed, you have to go down the ramps. The pink ramps will give you, get you to max speed. You cannot push yourself to max speed. That's an important thing to note. So here we go. Let's go all the way down. By the time I get to the bottom, I should be able to reach max speed. There it is. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Oh my gosh. This level's huge! Well, I unlocked two things already, so now we just gotta get to the end. Let's go and ride this out, there we go. And... Uh, oh, oh! It's fine. I get one more big air so I can get a special off. Give me a big air, come on, big air, baby, big air! Ah, oh, it's fine, that's totally fine. Simple game, $7, not a whole lot to it. If you have an older controller and you only have one, and if you notice in other games that sometimes, sometimes the right the right thumbstick just kind of moves just a little bit to the left or to the right, then you're gonna want to go ahead and be careful because uh, it will this, this will have an impact on you. Um, hopefully the developer figures out a way to bypass the dead zone. Uh, I can tell you, even after a calibration, uh, it still managed to have the issue, so. It's up to the developer, I think, at this point, to uh, to lower that sensitivity just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not really asking for much. Just a little bit. Oh. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh. Got squeezing all these tricks. Special's ready. Oh, I... <laughs> the special's ready. Let's go get a drink. Oh, man. This is totally one of those games where it's like, you know what? If you got seven bucks, just pick it up. Like... I've already gotten, I think, like, probably an hour of uh, gameplay out of this, and I thoroughly have enjoyed every every minute of the damn game so far. Gotta love me some, like, cheap, cheap games with just real basic, basic modes and concepts that just deliver, you know? Like, man, your game is super simple, and you executed that super simple thing correctly. <laughs> Not a lot of games could do that. <laughs> 
He said, whoa, okay, let's get some speed. We need some speed. We're gonna ride this thing all the way out here. And then... Oh, oh, it's a rail. Oh, I should have nailed that. Damn it. There is no level editor yet. I don't know if there's actually plans for level editor. Uh, for the price, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not. There's also enough levels. I feel like, you know, why? Like, given the basic concept of the game, once you get it, once you get the controls down, and uh, you get started getting really good at it, you kind of just start flipping your thumbs up and down. Like I said, the uh, A to X to Y route pretty constantly, and it kind of feels like you're doing the same thing in terms of like your motions, what you're doing. Oh, landed. Oh, baby, I didn't want to chain anything together. I was worried I was going to lose that. Let's see. 200,000 points. Grind a billboard. Do a 50,000 point combo. Okay. Okay. Kind of maximize these things we can. We can chain it together. Here we go. This, this, this is a 50,000 point, as long as I don't mess this up. Like I said, manuals forever. Manuals for days. Oh! Oh! Did I? Did, okay. <sighs> okay, here we go. This is a better score than before. Better score than before. We just gotta land it. Not that dissimilar from, of course, Tony Hawk Pro Skater when you're like trying to do all this stuff. Look at this. 200. I don't have to do anything for this map. Save that replay, upper left corner, hit the uh, back button, you can actually quickly save the replay. So let's go ahead and, uh, you'll see this is the replay here, and it'll basically save this forever. That was, that was a pretty good grind, I think. That was a pretty damn good grind, actually, so I'm pretty pleased with that. <sighs> look at it, look at it, look at these moves, look at these moves, look at these moves. What's up? So honestly, that's it. That's the game. There's really nothing else to show you guys. We can continue doing levels, but I feel like you guys pretty much got the gist, and I don't want to spoil anything for you. Uh, you can pick the game up on Steam for the low, low price of $6.99. Unless you get the game before October 2nd somehow, in which case you'll be able to pick it up for the low, low price, low, low, lower price of $5.94, which is 15% off. Like I said, it's a good game. Music is a bit funky. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the right thumbstick may be an issue for some of you guys, but you know, I'm up to an hour of gameplay on this thing. And I mean, $6 for an hour. Uh, if I didn't have a bazillion other games I had to go play, I would definitely put a little bit more, probably at least one more hour into it. And I feel like $3 an hour is a pretty good buy for such a simple and such a fun game. Very well executed. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. This is Skater Cali on Any for Breakfast. I'll see ya.